Sharks is back. This time we're summoning Nash Knight. You can use Nash Knight to suck up a monster, then rank up Nash Knight into a second Dark Knight Lancer using the Armored Eggsy Trap card. Dark Knight is a soft once per turn card, so you can activate the Armored Eggsy Trap card to equip an Eggsy monster to one of your Eggsies, and then activate both Dark Knights. Now you can suck up two more monsters. This is a crazy removal. All three sucks are non-targeting and the monsters attached as material are not recoverable by your opponent unless they remove your monsters. Let's take a look at the deck list. We modified some things based on the combo sheet. Chathana and Ready Fusion are now both at three. These two cards will make it much easier to summon an Egg Z and still let us summon Dagaris if Buzzsaw or Leafish gets negated. We also don't need as many level 4 fish in the deck as before, because we can use Dagaris to draw into a Bishark, rank up Dagaris into Dark Knight, then use a Bishark to search Crystal Shark, and summon Nash Knight. And that's full combo. So this means we're not relying on looping Remora to get 3 disruptions on the field as much as we used to. Lantern Shark is not the best extender, but it's still useful if you need Buzzsaw Shark to turn into a Eggsy Armor Torpedo or a Nash Knight. Silent Angler is not my favorite level 4 fish, but we do still need level 4 fish, and there's not that many better than this, so if you do get locked out of Special Summoning and you do summon Dagaris with Silent Angler, then you want to rank up into Eggsy Armor Fortress on the 4th summon, Use it to search for the Armored Eggsy Trap and set it, and then pass your turn. Do not rank up into Crystal Zero or Dark Knight. You don't have to play into Nibiru. You can flip over the trap card on your opponent's turn to summon Dark Knight Lancer over the Eggsy Armor Fortress. We're going to look at two different extra decks. Shark suffers from a tight extra deck, so squeezing in both the Utopic Draco Future Line with the Nash Knight is very difficult. So this is what a deck would look like without the Utopic Draco Future Line. This extra deck has both 101 and 103. Nash Knight needs to attach a number monster from our extra deck to activate its effects. So this gives us two number monsters as targets. Without Bahamut Shark in the extra deck, some hands that would end with three or four Xyz might end with two or three Xyz. Since you're not using Bahamut Shark to detach a Remora to the graveyard so you can loop Remora with Dark Knight. An extra deck with both Nash Knight and Utopic Future Line would look something like this. We'll have to give up some Kragans and maybe even Zeus to make this deck work. I find that I almost never summon Zeus because we waterlock pretty often anyway, but it's hard to give it up. Zeus is really good for clearing up boards and cleaning up games, so if you really want to keep it, then you can take out Utopic Future instead. You don't need Utopic Future to summon Utopic Draco Future. As long as you have Bahamut Shark, Full Armored Black Ray Lancer, and Abyss Dweller on the field, you can flip over the Armored Eggsy Trap card and rank up into Utopic Draco Future. Utopic Draco Future just needs to rank up using three Eggsies as material that all have the same rank and different names. You can also dodge an Imperm on Abyss Dweller this way. Your opponent might save an Imperm just for Abyss Dweller. So you can just wait for them to activate the Imperm and then chain the Armored Eggsy Trap card to summon Utopic Draco Future. If your opponent doesn't activate an Imperm, well, you can just wait for Abyss Dweller to resolve before ranking it up into Utopic Draco Future, just in case. Personally, I prefer the deck with Utopic Draco Future, but no F-Zero, so I can make space for Zeus. How are you building your Nash deck?